rafiki yetu yeye ndio guru ameandika yeye siku ya leo kama mgeni maalum hii jamaa tumetembea naye pamoja tulikuwa naye pamoja kutoka wakati ile ya kanu alikuwa kanu huko tukaenda naye tukaunda chama pamoja na yeye ile ilikuwa inaitwa uh, LDP tukaingia kuna pamoja kwa NAC tukaenda naye pamoja kwa ODM tumesimama naye pamoja mara mbili tumefunua naye pamoja tukiwa pigana na tujashindwa kila mara kwa mara tumekuwa tunyanganya tu yeye amesimama na mizizi kidete hata mara hii ya mwisho hakuchoreliwa kama kama mgombe mwenza na miangu lakini alibaki na sisi alibaki na sisi jamaa ana moyo jamaa ana ukakamavu jamaa ni mtu ambaye unaweza kumwamini yeye ni mtu mwaminifu yeye tena ni mtu wa Kristo yeye ni mtu ana tabia ya ukingwana ana upendo ana upendo kabisa juzi nilizikia kama Ruto alikuwa hapo ndio nasema tu mnajua baba hata simama sasa mimi nitakuwa na sala kalonzo tu anaongea juu ya kalonzo kama kalonzo ni kama hii kalonzo ameshinda kwa Naruto mara kumi yeye ni mtu mwaminifu yeye ni mtu mwaminifu anataka kutagawanya sisi baba na kanonzo sijui baba acha simama sijui nani atasimama miongoni wetu hapa mtu atasimama sasa wewe so, unafikiri yeye ni mwerevu zaidi tutamwonyesha ati yeye hajui sasa so, so, sisi tutasimama kidete na ndugu kanonzo msioka yeye ni mtu mwaminifu Tumeona vizuri. Tumeona vizuri. Kuye ndani ya liko na Dr. Buru kama mgeni maalum ya shahada ya leo. Sasa mimi nataka nimuite yeye akuje hapa asalimu hii. Dr. Steven Kalonzo Musioka kuzungumza juu ya 2027 ambaye atapata fursa ya kusimama kwa pande azimio kwanza anasema 2022 atujakamilisha we want to know what happened si ni kweli ehe yeyote ambaye atasimama wakati huo mwingine will have a walk over a walk in the park kenyans are fed up kenyans wamesema hii si serikali inaweza kuaminika si ni kweli Bei ya mafuta usiku wa manane imeongezeka. Tulijaribu na bado tutazungumzia swala hili. Naomba munisikilize tutalizungumzia swala hili kwa kindani. The high cost of living. Kenya kwanza wanasema ni jukumu lao kwa sababu ndio wako na mamlaka. Lakini nasema article 43 of the country's constitution talks of basic rights and basic rights are human rights kwa mfano hakuna mwananchi wa Kenya sasa hivi anapaswa kulala njaa lakini wakati wa maandamano eh roja kidogo just allow me to conclude tulikuja hapa juzi baada ya maandamano kuzika vijana wetu tukawazika kwa sababu gani waliuawa wakipigania haki zao kama wananchi wa Kenya haki ya maandamano article 37 ya katiba inasema wazi the right to picket the right to demonstrate provided you do so unarmed na kuna mtu alikuwa tayari kupigana na polisi polisi ndio alikuja kuua watu wetu ni kweli si ni kweli na wao 
badala ya kwanza wajibike sasa Kenya inasema to reward kila police squad wanapelekwa Haiti umesikia maneno is it a reward kwamba wao watu yao as we speak watu wanapigwa mishale sondo kwa nini kwanza sort out shida ya sondo na kwingineko insecurity and i want to say it was martin luther king who said the threat of injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere so we want to put everybody on notice kwamba nchi hii inatawaliwa na katiba ya 2010 sasa hivi tunaona vile katiba inafanywa kuhujumiwa jana na, na juzi na jana watu wa Machakos County kwa mfano wameamka wamebomolewa manyumba yao watoto waendi wajui wataenda wapi watalala wapi mtihani unaanza hawajui wataenda wapi three primary schools brought down five church eight five churches brought down msikilizeni hii ni katiba gani hii serikali inafuata because those are basic right the right to the freedom of worship is guaranteed under the constitution kwa hivyo wa Kenya nadhani wengi tumeona next time hakuna mtu atakuja kudanganya wengine namna hiyo kwa hivyo na nyinyi lazima tuulize sisi na nyinyi tutakaa kama marafiki hakuna mtu atakuja katikati yetu na nyinyi na mnajua eh hii dunia mtu akija na cheka cheka na cheka cheka na fikiria watu wameingia box eh kuna wa kuingia box na wale sio wa kuingia nini mali ndovu inapitia hata ikimaliza miaka kumi narudia wapi tunaelewana kwa hivyo sisi kama jamii ya wakamba tumekuja hapa na party leader wetu kukuja kuambia wajaluo na wakamba tutakaa pamoja kama kitu kimoja na tutawachana Onzo made a decision to support Raila he made that decision to support Raila and i thank him for that because it was not an easy decision to make it was not an easy i can tell you it was not an easy, easy decision to make so we have traveled that far and therefore when i was looking across the whole world looking at who can be uh, guest of honor in my 80th birthday i never celebrate my birthdays i never i even forget sometimes my birthday but i thought that this one of the 80th the anniversary of my life i should celebrate and then i looked across whom i can bring to be my guest of honor and i landed on honorable steven kalonzo musyoka because i thought he was the best to be and therefore i'm happy that he has come and i thank I thank him immensely for having honored my invitation. Finally, I would like to say just one piece about this government of uh, uh, William Ruto. This William Ruto has refused to make the government the, the government or his regime to function. He is the single minister of roads, he is the minister of water, he is the minister of health, he is the minister of culture, he is the minister of sports, he is the minister of everything. Ruto, please, let your ministers also work. Me, I don't even know them because I don't know what they do. And then, I also want to tell Ruto something else. Ruto, I also want to ask you to say the truth for once. Because whenever you move around, you promise so many things. So you you will, you will promise Ruto, you will promise things which belong, which are devolved, like health. 
you come and say you are going to do health. Things which belong to the governors. Ruto says he is going to do. And then, then to make it worse, he never fulfills any of those promises he makes. Ruto for once. When you came here, Ruto, you promised us that the contractors on all our projects in Siaya were going to be back to those projects within three weeks. Now it is almost one year. The road to Leonda from Bondo is still looking at us, staring at us. There's no contractor. The, 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 the bridge in Usenge is still staring at us. There's no contractor. The road going through Jim's place uh, to, to in Ugenya is still looking at us. The contractor ran away because you are unable, you have refused to pay them. All the monies which you should use to pay them, you are using to fly all over the world. Tomorrow you are in France, the next day you are in America, the next day you are in Congo, the other day you are where? All your ministers are moving all over the world. So there is no money to, follow, to implement projects. All the monies are being used for the current expenditure. <laughs> The first choice, they must go to Haiti. The second choice, if they refuse to go to Haiti, they will be sacked. The third choice, they must go to Haiti and die. Those are the only three choices you've given our sons. We know that most of those police officers come from very vulnerable homes. We know that they are breadwinners, the sole breadwinners in their family. And yet you are sending them Wanaruto, shame on you! Shame! Mukai Imara. Nyumaya, Baba, Raira, Odinga. Na ye atatuabia na atatupatia mwelekeo. Haru? Kwa sababu mukiuba yuba kidogo, hamuna kazi itafanyo na hawa bao wako serikarini. Hamuna. Ugoje hakuna ata kuoja shoko. Itakuwa kutembea na uongo Na wanataka kuja hapa kwa kikicha zile kura waliiba padeli ya Mount Kenya Wameiba hapa nyanza Lazima nyinyi mukae gagali Tuchunge kura Wakati itafika na mawe kama inadaikana mawe ikweko Wakati raudi hii Sikiza Raudi hii wakati tutafika kupiga kura Kila mmoja wetu walide kura Na wale walitumiwa Mount Kenya kuiba kura kwa sababu huizi ulikuwa kule wakati huo wakubali pia kupiga kura na wapige kura pale watasaidika kama wa Kenya kwa sababu wasipofanya hivyo maisha ya hawa vijana yako katika ta taba mkaribisha vizuri sana na muendelee hiyo kiongozi yeyote akija hapa mkaribishe aseme mambo yake ukiona mambo mazuri basi jambo na mwisho mjua inji hii ni inji yenu Mambo tunaongea cost of living ukiwa na serikali paka iangalie maslahi ya wananchi iangalie maslahi yenu mambo ya cost of living tumeongea mara nyingi na hata ukienda kula America takula yoyote wanaweka subsidy kwa nini hapa tuweze kupeana subsidy ili watu wapate petroli wapate diesel kwa bei nafuu the people's president the whole of Kenya is behind you. And as we are in the bipartisan talks led by our team leader, Kalonzo Msioka, the intellectual of Pewandai, Na Ndugu Mdogo Wamalwa, we want to tell you that we are behind you fully. Na yale mambo maine ama matano 
lazima zipitishwe wangapi wamekubali lazima zipitishwe na ya muhimu sana is the cost of living gharama zirudi wangapi wamesema gharama zirudi nyi 